Welcome back to The Vocalist. For those of you new here, my name is Bethany. I am a voice teacher, and today we are listening to BTS again. This will be my second reaction to BTS. The first time around, I asked for your help to find a performance that just felt a little bit more acoustic or one where I could really sort of hone in on their voices. And you guys gave me a lot of great recommendations, so thank you for that. Today's reaction features their performance of the song Film Out at Music Blood. So, let's do it. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Um, let's just, I want to hear it again. We're going to go back to the beginning. A lot of you mentioned in that first reaction that their voices are still very similar to the sounds I was hearing when I asked for something with a little less effect or a little less mixing, but already I can hear the difference. And it's just like that added clarity, that added like purity of tone is just, it melts your heart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Something that I love about his voice is that he uses a, a vocal fry at the beginning like of his onset, which I I think is a great tool to get your chords fully adducted, but he's you can just hear kind of like the stretch in his voice. Like he how do I phrase this? Let me let me hear it again just so I can I want to give you a good description. It's almost like he like, he suspends those notes, but he doesn't just let them sit there. You know, he lets them sort of stretch and grow within like the frame of the phrase. I hope that makes sense. I'll go back, I'll go back. I love his transition into his head voice, and I mentioned that in my first reaction too. It's seamless. It is so stunning. I, he's got such a warm, sultry voice. It's like, the contrast between these singers is so beautiful. Like, I've said it before, you have Jungkook, who has like, beautiful presence, just a tiny bit of like nasality, which I think is helping him transition. Um, many of you mentioned he has a huge range. Um, Jimin is like, the most angelic sound you could ever hear. It's so beautiful and so clear and so lovely. And then V, yes, okay, V. Um, yeah, he's got a little bit more like smokiness and warmth to his voice and just a little bit of added depth. So I'm, I'm thinking ahead. I'm like, I wonder if they're all gonna like do some like epic harmony on this or I don't know what's gonna happen but I like it let me just go back
I know they're singing La, okay? I get that it seems very simple, but I love that they're taking the opportunity to just keep everything so relaxed and so effortless and just like their facial expressions are very neutral, their jaw, their tongue, everything, all of their articulators, everything is so neutral and relaxed. And it's just, not only is it a great way to sort of reset before, you know, your next verse, or if you have like a really strenuous phrase that's coming up, but it's also a great way to just check in with yourself and really keep everything vocally aligned and in a, a nice safe space that isn't strained. And so don't don't underestimate the power of law, I guess is what I'm saying. Let's keep going. She got a moon, it's almost so I like lining. Who has it? I love that duet. You guys did mention that most of the rappers also um, sing or can sing and that a couple of the singers also rap and so I love sort of the, I keep saying contrast, <laughs> but I do. I love the contrast in Jungkook's singing um, in with RM. Ooh, let me make sure. RM. I love that, like, he continues to rap, but then occasionally he starts to, like, phonate and sustain notes so it sounds a little bit more like singing. I like that in and out sort of, I don't know. Feeling, sensation. I don't know. Let me go back and hear just a little bit of that. Like right there. Ah. Oh, it's just so cool how it still sounds like if he were if he were doing this as a solo rap, like I wouldn't have really thought much about the singing and the like phonation but because he's got this like little duet happening with an actual melody it just it sounds so cool last time i brought <laughs> I want to hear him again because I don't know how much more he's going to sing in this and I didn't hear as much of him in that dynamite reaction either as I'd hoped. Um, I just want to like hear more of his tone. <laughs> Okay, let me let me pull up my cheat sheet. Okay, so Jin, I'm gonna learn their names. I'm gonna like I'm gonna get this down. So Jin's voice, I think of the four main singers, I would classify his as the most youthful sounding. I know Jimin has a very high range, a high tessitura, but yeah, I think Jin's voice just has like this added youthful quality to it. Um, it kind of makes your heart break a little bit more, like hearing these lyrics from this this tone. I love the duets that are coming into play and how he and Jungkook now are singing this verse because, again, such good contrast between all of these voices. <laughs> Oh, 
ればせながら夏を今君の隣まで置いちて I want to hear these, rap- these rappers again. Even they have such distinct qualities to their voices. I also love the falsetto that Jungkook is doing amidst all this, but let's see. <laughs> Like his his speaking voice seems just very like smooth. Correct me if I'm wrong. We just heard J Hope, so then I don't know if it's Suga or Suga, because I saw them do like a little. I saw a lot of interviews where they like kept saying watermelon sugar. His speaking voice is it's brighter. So we've got like this brighter voice, and now like this really smooth voice. And then RM before them had a bit more like grit, a little bit more power to his voice. So it's just like it's very cool that they all have these unique characteristics in their rapping. Okay. <laughs> I'm so, oh no, this might be the end. I'll go back, I'll go back. I'm so impressed with their arrangements in terms of like key selection because I was just honing in on every single one of their their necks and their jaws just to see, there's like, you can see their larynx move. Obviously the larynx will move as you sing higher or lower, but there's like no tension. Like you can see them breathe and then you can see the larynx smooth. And other than that, it's just looks so relaxed and so peaceful. Let me, I, should, I just want to go back to the beginning of this whole section. <laughs> I love that like what a great choice like you've got this duet going you've got the falsetto overhead and then you still allow the other singer to like ad lib in there let me go back some more Ooh, I didn't point that out earlier um let me just listen again to the registration shift there You hear all of that? Like, he definitely is using, like, mix, he's going into head, he's got a little falsetto, like, there's so much there. One more time. You guys, that is 
thank you. That is exactly what I was looking for. I got to hear each of them individually. Um, I got to hear them do some duets. I'd never heard the song before. It's it's stunning, so that was so nice to hear. I didn't comment on Jimin very much during the reaction. His voice, I mean, you guys know, it is so rare. It's so lovely, and it's just something that you can't help but just kind of get swept away in. I would classify that as either like a mix or a head, because many of you commented before that, you know, it's not falsetto, it's his real voice. I think every register is like a person's real voice. Either way, I'm with you. Like it was, I was so happy to hear this particular performance because whilst there wasn't a ton of, you know, distortion or mixing or auto, t whatever like production technique you want to call it on like that first video of Dynamite that I heard, it felt like there this was just like really just their voices and so I got to hear so much more detail and clarity and warmth and like all those yummy adjectives that would describe these voices. Anywho, that is it for today so thank you guys again for this recommendation. Thank you for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.